now now we'll discuss chance bgm method now chance bgm method is applied only when we use the artificial variable uh, so it is to it is important to know when we can use the artificial variable there are other methods also where uh, after using artificial variable we can use uh, that particular method but uh, chance bgm method is actually a special kind of simplex method is just a, a defined modification of simplex method and uh, where the standard form is written in a, in just a different uh, a simple different way but the process goes on the algorithm and the uh, process of entering vector and deciding the entering vector leaving vector and the optimum conditions are always uh, same as that of the um, that of the simplex method so the way we decide the in uh, input vector or uh, the better to betterment for better bettering the answers or uh, so th that remains unchanged for the sim simplex method the way we do it for simplex method for chance bgm method we also do the same so let's uh, take an example to explain the chance bgm method so we have taken this example mean z equals to 3x1 minus 5x2 plus x3 subject to conditions x1 plus 2x2 minus 3x3 equals to 12 3x1 plus 2x2 plus 3x3 less than equals to 20 and minus x1 plus 5x2 minus 2x3 is less than equals to minus 6 x1 x2 x3 greater than equals to 0 so uh, this is a problem where we have used uh, uh, equality constraint uh, less than equal to count and two of them are less than equals to one cent. but as we have said earlier that first thing we need to check the right hand side whether they are greater than equals to zero or not so here we can see there is a negative value over here so first thing it's important that to make this constant the, the right hand side as positive to make that positive we will multiply this whole inequation by minus one to make that positive and that will then this particular then this particular constraint will become when you mi multiply that using minus 1 so it will become x1 minus 5x2 plus 2x3 is greater than or equal to 6 so uh, now we have the three constraints this is a one constraint with equality sign one constraint with less than or equal to sign and the third constraint as greater than or equal to sign and the variables that we are using are all of them are having greater than equals to zero so if this is the case then how we can solve this using simplex method actually we will be solving this using a method called B chance bgm method which is similar to that of simplex method but writing the standard form is a little defined so let's uh, let's uh, write the standard form first so initially we leave the objective function and uh, we leave the objective function and let's start with the constraint as we have said that uh, uh, this we have to write the objective function always we will write the objective function as as max we will always write the objective function as max and uh, the constraints as equal to so that our constraints are equal to so that this will form of the form it will become uh, uh, the definition that we use is max z equals to c transpose x subject to subject to a x equals to b and x greater than equals to zero. That is the format or uh, that is the definition that we follow for uh, for the solving of simplex methodology or using the simplex methodology. So, so what we do for the first constraint we are having we will be writing as x1 plus 2x2 minus 3x3 3x3 equals to 12 just ignore this because I have already solved this so ignore this for the time being mm, so because it's already equality so we will keep that as equality then the second constant is less than equals to 20 so we will just add a slack variable over here so 3x1 plus 2x2 plus 3x3 plus s2 is equals to 
or 20 so just slack variable is added and the for the third one this is the something new that we have we are coming across the so third one is greater than equals to constant so for that we will be we'll be, we'll be writing that as my uh, x1 minus 5x2 plus 2x3 and for this greater than equals to so we'll add something some variable called surplus variable so surplus variable what the surplus variable does so what surplus means extra so whatever is more than six it diminishes that and brings it down to equal to six so we add a variable which itself is positive but the coefficient is minus so we'll subtract the surplus variable we we'll subtract the surplus variable but we add the slack variable mind that if it's a less than equals to constant we add the slack variable which slackens the less than equals to constant to equal to constant and if it's greater than equals to constant we we subtract the surplus variable so sur surplus is subtracted to bring it down to equality to bring it down to equal so we uh, add the surplus variable now now in this case what happens we have we get only one vector or one variable that has the format 0 1 0 as you can see here for x1 the coefficients are 1 3 1 for x2 the coefficients are 2 2 minus 5 x3 coefficients are minus 3 3 2 S2's coefficient is 0, 1, 0 and S3, capital S3, yes, uh, I generally denote the slack variables as small letters and surplus variables as capital letters for our, for my own understanding. So it, it is quite a simple convention to remember and the capital S3 has coefficient 0, 0, minus 1. So it is, so I cannot uh, find three vectors or three variables which is forming the unit matrix form that is 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 so because of this reason it is uh, generally speaking so generally speaking to make that happen to get that particular unit matrix for all the basic variables we add some extra variables in this case so like if we have a generally speaking that but there could be some exceptions in uh, for some problems but in general uh, if there is an equality sign we add a variable called artificial variable see in the first constant I have added one artificial variable capital A1 which represents it's an artificial variable which, whose coefficient is plus one artificial why artificial because it was actually not required but we have i have added as a as an extra something extra artificially which would do because it was already equality so there was no need of adding something else but here we have added this artificial variable only to only to create or complete the format of that identity matrix that is one zero 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 one zero 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 one because there are three constants who are there so maximum uh, order of the identity matrix that can be uh, there are uh, three variables uh, sorry three constraints and one two three four five uh, five five constants so maximum order of identity matrix that I can uh, obtain is th of order three so but I w w we are not obtaining that particular format th with the variables one zero 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 one zero and zero zero one so we have added artificially a variable so that it gives a coefficient 100 zero zero, one zero zero and for the third constraint also where we have added the surplus variable with a minus sign we will also add another variable another artificial variable that is a3 with coefficient plus one so that means this particular a1 has coefficients one zero zero s2 small s2 has slack variable has coefficients 0 1 0 and the third ar second artificial variable a3 has coefficient 0 0 1 so in general speaking if we have a constraint with less than equality sign we add a variable called the slack variable like this whose coefficient is plus 1 
slack variable and I write that as a small letters. So slack variable when there is a less than equal to constraint and the coefficient is plus one. If the constraint is constraint is with equality sign, then we add a variable called uh, only artificial variable is added, whose coefficient is plus one. If the constraint is, has, is having equality sign, then we add a variable called artificial variable, only artificial variable is added. And if a constraint is having constraint is having greater than equality sign, then we add uh, two variables. One is surplus variable, which is having a coefficient minus one, and also another artificial variable, which is having a coefficient plus one, to bring that equal to, bring it to equal to. Now, and we write the standard form this way, and so that, now this, we have got three different variables or three different vectors, which, uh, which were having the format of the standard uh, unit matrix that is 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0 and 0, 0, 1. Now we will write down the objective function. Now we will finally write down the objective function. As I have said, my original objective function was mi uh, minimum, minimum z. Um, so I will change that to maximum. So max z dash I will write that as minus 3x1 by multiply, simply multiplying with by minus 1 so minus 3x1 plus 5x2 minus x3 plus 0s2 slack variables coefficient will be 0 surplus variables coefficient will also be 0 but here is the important part for artificial variables that we have already added in the original problem their coefficients will be minus m in the maximized objective function that is very important so what is minus m m where m itself is a very big positive value so minus m gives you a negative value m itself is a very big positive value that's why the name of the method is called big m big m m is big means it tends to infinity or is too large comparable to the other coefficients comparable to the other coefficients so that is why the name is big m mind that the coefficient will be minus m and for all the artificial variables the coefficient will be minus m and mind that that has to be a maximized objective function if you are writing the objective function as max then the coefficient will be minus m and if you are writing the objective function as mean the coefficient will be plus m but as i have said we will be writing the objective function that the standard form will be writing the object function as max and the constraints as equality so now we have this is the standard form the objective function as max and the constraints as equality and we'll write that all the variables that we have used are greater than equals to zero so x1 x2 x3 are greater than equals to zero s2 greater than zero s3 capital s3 is greater than equal to zero a1 a3 are greater than equals to zero small s2 is the slag variable capital s3 is the surplus variable and a1 and a3 are the artificial variables